So here we go, the final act in what has been a, a competition that has entranced us throughout, never short on drama or emotion or talking points. This year's edition certainly does more than hold up to its predecessors. It seems this is the game in which everybody is keen to play a part. The stands are washed with colour, proud renditions of their songs from either end. It really does have all the ingredients of a top, top final. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. And we rise now for the Danish national anthem. Two teams, Jim Beglin, with one common thought, to have their names on this famous trophy. Yes, Peter, I've been a, a winning finalist and I've been a, a losing finalist and I don't need to tell anyone what I preferred. Winning will help fans remember you for a long, long time, so I sincerely wish both teams well and hope that all the players can give a good account of themselves and, and you've heard it before, may the best team do it. So what are we to expect in this final? Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining, but... Oh, shooting chance! There's an early warning shot across the bow. All he'll be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Forward it goes. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Going for goal! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. to get it forward quickly. Come back to the keeper. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Josip Radosevic. Played out to the right. And that's been leave it clear. Real chance to break. It's a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. He's got options out wide. Gets up to head it! Oh, just needed a better contact. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases the chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Anything noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim? Well, I think both teams probably feel it's it's too early for either to start taking real risks. So they're still very much in a phase of, of testing the waters and, and sizing each other up. That's great 
defensive one. Well, that is asking for trouble. Oh, good interception. So a third of the match, or thereabouts, gone, and we still await the first goal. Hit long and direct. Goes for goal! And the follow-up! Oh, it's gone in! That could turn out to be a big, big goal! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. That's just top-notch, showed exactly why he follows it up every time. Keeper struggles to hold on to it. Ball breaks kindly. He's always about. Brumby take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it rather than even thinking about losing it. Well, they can break here. It's on! Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter, once he got into that position. It's not as if he didn't have people nearby. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Looking to break out here. Josip Radosevic. Jurgensen battles to win it back. And helps available out wide. Dashing forward at pace. And that has put paid to that. Crosses it in. <laughs> Defenders on the back foot. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Hoists it forward. It's one! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, one sloppy lapse like that can do a lot of damage, and it was triggered by the closing down. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. And that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee.
to throw. Keeper's got good distance on that. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Plays it into the box. Josip Radosevic. Josip Radosevic passes it forward. He's played him through, gets the better of his man, chance! And that's it for the first half, a breathless ending. Copenhagen still trailed by the odd goal, despite coming so, so close with the whistle imminent. And a tricky half right until the very end. Half time in the final, Jim, how do you read it? Copenhagen are in desperate need of some character and inspiration, and they need it now. But just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Well, it seems like the perfect situation for Fortune favouring the Brave. 45 minutes to pack in enough risk-taking to get this match turned around. It's very doable. Albeit perhaps momentary. Has a hit! It's a goal! FC Copenhagen are all square. Copenhagen are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter attacking heaven. That has certainly made things interesting. Oh, look, Peter, there's a great ebb and flow to this clash, and it's above all expectations for me. He's made sure that that won't get through. It's a loose ball, and they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Delivers across. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Oh, he's taken out, that'll be a foul. And he's going to have his name taken. To the right. That's the throw. Gets wrestled off the ball. 
Oh, that's a waste. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Clear cut, it's a free kick. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. Who saw this coming? Copenhagen are taking this to full distance. Terrific stuff. Boylson gets it back. Brunby have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Intercepts the throw, that's well read. It's an untidy challenge, free kick given. This is promising. Back in once more. And it's played forward. He's picked him out. And he's good for it! A real chance and a real let-off. Copenhagen were again presented with an opportunity to break and look very, very threatening. It's quite a run, and he's not done yet. That's a look and place it in. Away from immediate danger. That intervention was very necessary. What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. Another change here.
Brumby go into the lead. Victor Fischer is fouled. And he has taken a dim view of this, a second yellow, and that means red. The players protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. Brumby are down to ten men. And it's Boylison. It is a corner. Knocks it away. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Hoists it forward. Ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Fisher, who's ball? Who's going to get there? Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Tries to get it forward quickly. Tries to stroke it through. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Shot a goal! It's anyone's ball! And that would have won it. Well, he's definitely kept the side in the game then. That's really good positioning. They could have doubled their lead there. come loose and the chase is on yeah he's fouled him there Copenhagen are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit there's a real belief that they can still have a say This lead is tight, but it does look as though it may see them through. Just a few moments from glory. Just five minutes remaining now. It's got through to him. And the finish! And he heaves it forward. Bromby can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Josip Radosevic. Bromby certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Big chance! Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. I just hope he won't let the failure to score affect him. With the ability he has, he can reproduce. Well played, he saw that coming. There will be four extra minutes. Floats one over. Nice little chip. Oh, he's not going to get that.
The final whistle and the end. Copenhagen fall at the final hurdle. They gave it everything, but it was a bridge too far. And so it ends in pain as the glory goes elsewhere. So much endeavour, so much expectation, so little ultimate reward. Yeah, and most of these players may never get this close again. It may never get any bigger or more important for them, but in time, it can still be a source of great pride.